Hey guys, it's Room the Math Person, and today I'll be going over question 296 on SOA exam P. So pause the video real quick and try this problem yourself. Okay, assuming that you already did it, let's just dive right in. A homeowner insurance policy covers losses due to theft with a deductible of 3. Theft losses are uniformly distributed on 0 to 10. Okay, determine the moment generating function of M of T for T does not equal to 0 on the claim payment of the debt. Okay, so something to note here is we have to remember that um, moment generating function is equal to the expected value of E of T of X, right? So we want to find the expected value of Y though, which where Y is equal to our claim payment. Alrighty, alrighty. So our claim payment, the expected value of them, so from 0 to 3, it's going to be 0 because the deduct, the, um, my, the insurer, the person I'm insuring has to pay because I have a deductible of 3. Anything over 3, the insurance company would, is going to pay x minus 3. For example, if I make, if I have 6 accidents, then they sh I would have to pay out of pocket 3 and the insurance company will pay 3. So that's it. And oh, and then the PDF of a uniform distribution. Again, we, we also know PDF of a uniform distribution, we know is to be 1 over B minus A, which in our case would at, um, give us 1 minus, I mean 10 minus 0, which is just 10. So, all right, I think we have everything we need. And oh, our last thing we, we need to know is to find accepted value of X, this is just all values of X, X times um, the probability of X, right? Okay, and then I bet you guys remember this too. If it's, for example, if it's like the x to the value of x plus 2, then we plug in the whole x plus 2 value in here, right? So the same idea. If I'm trying to find the x to the value of e of t of x, then I would have to plug the e of t of x in the center times the probability of x. Okay, so we can, knowing all this information, we can actually construct our for our moment generating function. So our moment generating function m of t is equal to um, what's the interval? 0 to 3. And how much does the insurance company pay there? So that they pay $0. So the expected value is 0. And the probability is just 1 over 10 dx plus the second part, 3 to 10. 3 to 10, I the insurance company pays e to the x minus 3 x and the probability of x which is just 1 over 10 dx. Okay, so we know e to the 0 is just 1, so this is just integrating 1 tenth x from 0 to 3, which is just equal to 3 tenth minus 0, which is 0, plus this right here, we can think of this as like e to the 6x, some constant. Integrating this, we'll have to split the 6 over, right? And it will just be the same. So the same idea here. So this is going to be e to the x minus 3, t, 1 tenth. But then we have to split that 6. And then 6 in our case is just t. So we have to flip that t. Integrating this from 3 to 10. So plugging in that number for x, we get e to the 10 minus 3. That's 7t over 10t minus e to the 0t over 10t. We know this is just 1, so further simplifying this, we get 3 over 10 plus e to the 7t minus 1 over 10t, which is our answer A. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Otherwise, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Bye!